I'll be reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and uh, starting at verse 13. Paul says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. <laughs> he doesn't want us to be ignorant. You know, Yahuwah doesn't want you and I to be ignorant. He even says in his word, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He's not talking about just natural knowledge or intellectual knowledge. He's talking about revelation knowledge or spiritual understanding of the scriptures. He said, my people are destroyed because they don't have or have a lack of spiritual understanding or knowledge. So the, Paul even says here, I won't, do not want you to be ignorant, brethren. Now what does he not want us to be ignorant about? He says here, concerning those that are asleep, in other words, those that have died before us, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. You know, that's a sad state to be in, to not know the Mashiach, not to know the Messiah, not to, to have eternal life before you die, because you have no hope without our Creator. You have no hope without a, your belief in the Mashiach as your Savior. For all men have sinned and come short of the esteem the splendor of Yahuwah. All have sinned. We all have. But the good news is that we all can receive eternal life, those who believe. The scripture says in Romans, um, it says, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Wow. In the same manner, because of the fall of Adam, the fall of Adam, the first man, all have become sinners because we inherited his nature. We inherited the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. That's the bad news. But the good news is that for as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. <laughs> That's the good news. Now, he says, concerning those that are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahusha, that's the Messiah, the son of Yahuwah, died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Messiah, or in Yahusha, will Yahuwah bring with him. In other words, the Messiah, the Mashiach, when he appears, and this is talking about the catching away of the believers, as it's mentioned here, that when he appears, he's going to bring with him those that have died before us. And then it says, if we believe that Yahushua died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahushua will Yahuwah bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of Yahuwah, that we which are alive, he's talking about now alive on the earth, if you're alive when he appears, and remain until the coming of Yahuwah shall not go before them that ha are asleep that, or that have died. In other words, they're going to they're going to come first. They're going to receive their resurrected bodies first. Then it says, "For Yahuwah Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahuwah, and the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. Now this is where we get the term rapture. People say, well, I don't believe in the rapture because the word rapture is not in the scriptures. <laughs> well, you're right. It's not in the, our English translations. But it is, a the concept is to be caught up. That's what the word actually means. It means to, to caught up, to, to snatch up. To snatch up like in harm's way that you would grab someone that was about maybe to walk out in, in, in onto the street and didn't see a car coming and you're behind them and you snatch them away so they're not, you know, hit by that car. That's the word here that's, that's used, that we shall be caught up. And the reason we're caught up is because we're not appointed to wrath, as Paul makes reference to, because what this is talking about is the day of Yahuwah. The day of Yahuwah is the day of wrath. It's the day of, of Yahuwah's vengeance being poured out upon the earth 
and we as believers, if you have already received the Mashiach, if you are born of his Ruach, if you have his spirit, then you are the righteous ones the scripture is making reference to. And because of that, the righteous ones have not been appointed. In other words, it's not, you know, we've been delivered from the wrath to come, the scripture says. Now this is not talking, the wrath to come is not talking about, you know, being delivered from hell or the penalties of hell, even though that's a benefit of being saved or being born again. But the wrath that's talking about there in the scriptures is talking about the wrath of Yahuwah, which is, which is made reference to the tribulation period the, the, uh, of, of Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble. It's actually Israel's trouble. Also, it's, it's the time of tribulation uh, of Yahuwah's anger being poured out upon sin, upon mankind. And uh, we have not been appointed to wrath, but to obtain salvation through Yahushua HaMashiach. And so that's one of the reasons, the purposes, that we will be taken away before that happens. And that's when the, the resurrection of the, uh, that those that have uh, died in Mashiach before us and those that are alive on the earth shall be caught up together with Yahuwah. And so shall we ever be with Yahuwah. And that's what it says here. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Notice this. We'll be caught up together in the clouds, in the shamamin, in the, in the air. To meet Yahuwah in the air, and so shall we ever be with Yahuwah. Then it says, comfort one another with these words. That's what the spirit of the Ruach is doing right now. is comforting you with these words. To know. Oh, this is such a, such a great understanding to have this, to know the scriptures. That's why Paul said, I don't want you to be ignorant, but he wants you to know. Share this with others and your friends. Put it on Facebook. I appreciate that. Thank you for all your comments, and uh, shalom.